The executions of Ukrainian soldiers in the Kursk region in October did not go unanswered. Airborne assault brigades of the armed forces of Ukraine specifically pursued members of the enemy's 155th Marine Brigade who were accused of atrocities and took revenge on them. The Ukrainian 82nd and 95th Airborne Assault Brigades, which occupied positions to the southeast and southwest of the 155th Brigade, respectively ambushed the Marines, Forbes writes. Ukrainian troops hate the 155th Marine Brigade more than most Russian units. The Russian Brigade allegedly beheaded four Ukrainians in August and displayed the severed heads on poles, behavior commonly associated with Islamic terrorist groups, the article notes. In October in Kursk region, the enemy managed to break through to the positions of Ukrainian operators. According to media reports, the occupiers stripped them and shot them in the head. On October the 14th, the 82nd separate Bukovina Airborne Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on Telegram that its fighters in Kursk continue to eliminate Russian Marines. It can be said that the Ukrainian paratroopers have put this process on stream. Thus, the other day, the Bukovina Maroon Berets set up an ambush in which the killers from the 155th Separate Brigade of the Pacific Fleet Marines, who systematically violate military law, fell. The paratroopers added that the hunt for the freaks was successful. Not a single one of the Russian Marine scoundrels remained alive. Recently, deep state analysts reported that the Russians launched an attack near the village of Zeleniput in the Kursk region and managed to capture Ukrainian drone operators and contractors. According to them, the enemy shot the Ukrainian defenders. The head of the Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Andriy Sibia, called for the issuance of warrants from the International Criminal Court for the arrest of Russians involved in the murders of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Forbes wrote that executing Ukrainians during a full-scale war would likely backfire on the Russians. Such actions would almost certainly guarantee that the atrocities they commit would eventually come back to haunt them. Ukrainian authorities have reported that since the start of the full-scale invasion, the Russians have executed more than 100 Ukrainians who were captured. Most of our compatriots have died at the hands of the occupiers this year. Rescuers removed human remains after an Israeli airstrike hit an apartment building in northern Lebanon on Monday, killing at least 23 people, according to the Lebanese Red Cross. There was no immediate comment from the Israeli military and it was not clear what the target was. The strike hit a small apartment building in the Christian-majority village of Edo in Zagarda, far from the Hezbollah militant group's main areas of influence in the south and east of the country. Rescue workers in Ato searched through the rubble of the building as ambulances stood by to receive the bodies of victims. Nearby buildings and cars were damaged in the strike. Some 2,300 people have been killed by Israeli strikes across Lebanon since last October, more than three-quarters of them in the past month, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. The airstrikes, and Israel's subsequent ground invasion of southern Lebanon, which Israel says are targeting Hezbollah, have forced the displacement of more than 1200000 people and caused widespread destruction across the country.